because me, I, yes, again, sleep deprived. Who would have possibly guessed? Uh, I stayed up late last night, like later than I really should have. My body was like, nope, can't go to sleep yet. You had that Red Bull this morning. And it's like, oh, I just want to take a big snooze. And my body's like, no. Oh, cool, it's Bowser's stupid voice time. Well, we're here. Now, where's the stupid partially sanctum? A crystal star's there, right? So they say your futureness, and lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. <laughs> so stupid. Great, about time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go. I can't just fire fire, but can I just melt the lock? Oh, no, I can't. It's locked. It won't budge. Darn it. The lock broke. Whoa. Whoa, baby. Awesome. It opened. Talk about lucky. I guess rage really pays. There we go. Yes, this is it, Haggy. This is finally it. Oh god. Game, please. I know it's on. Wahahaha, <laughs> <laughs> at last, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star. Yes. Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute best star getting guy. Uh, give me a minute, though. Gotta do one quick thing. It's not shooing, it was it is just bugging someone. Alright, there we go. Person bugged. You there. I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm... A remorseless... Bowser, the remorseless king of evil. So I'll take what I want, and I want this. Uh, Bowser, you say? Remorseless king of... What was that last bit again? Yes, well, no matter. <clears throat> yes, yes. I... So I deduced. <clears throat> then listen well. That crystal star is actually a veritable red herring. Yes, an imposter. What? A fake? Look at this fancy display, the pedestal and everything, it's so posh. It's a, if it's a fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. Oh ho ho ho. You have got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ugh, those Mario Bros are the most annoying brothers of all time. Hmm. Oh god. I'm, I'm losing my voice, I'm, pay I'm not paying attention. Oh god. I'll bother some, the fact that we keep, getting, the fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. Where in the world can Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Where Bowser? Ah, Paragoomba. We used to work the book. Hmm? Tell me. Now we're pointing, sir. Uh, and ma'am. Sir and ma'am. Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and it's headed for the thousand year door. What? The thousand year door? What in the heck is that? A thousand year door, an unbelievably legendary treasure is behind that door. Yeah! Then I'm going there too, immediately, and I'm going to ruin Mario! Ruin what army, Jack? Will you now? Luigi, well done, lad. Way not to fail. Yet. Uh, I feel a bit of lag on this controller. I don't know if it's just my brain or it's just something weird going on with the uh, control scheme. I'll figure it out. No Johnsing. It's just a bizarre thing. We finally got all seven crystal stars. Yes. We can open the thousand year door. Uh, but we still don't know where the pe where Peach is. Well, let's head back to Rokeport, I guess. The rest of Franklin might be able to help us find Princess Peach, right? 
uh, using a a new Gengu Troll feels super weird. You have a lot of like it feels really really chunky with a control stick. I mean, I think it's on uh, level two is where uh, I'm heading, right? Yeah. Then we're gonna go on Shine Sprite hunting. Ooh, there's a bunch of ones I missed. Uh, I think it's the green one, right? Green, 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 green. Hmm. How do I teleport back out of here then? Yeah, I think there is a slight delay sometimes. It may just be the way that the uh, this controller is really new, so it's not like fully broken in yet. It won't open. Hmm. Was it level one? How am I supposed to get off the moon? Oh god. Was it on this floor? It's all checked out. I think it might be on this one. It'd have to be the one that has like green above it. If I had to, if I had to surmise. This is way off. See, I, this is this is mostly blind at this point. I have no idea what the hell. I guess it was blind once we got off of like the Posse Heights thing, so this ain't it. Can I finally get the tech now? Am I being railroaded? Yes. Yes. Where are we? You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess Peach. I am sorry. Most of my data was erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cache memory, trying to stay operational. Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach, please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotus in the Palace of Shadow. I have to tell you that. And Danny! Oh, but backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Wilport. The teleporter room is on sub-level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. The speech is in the Palace of Shadow. Please hurry. There is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all functions. Cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. What will happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer, just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please. And tell her. Thank you for me. We understand, Tech. So hurry to the teleporter room now. Mario, save her. So better not doing that tonight. Hell no. It's time for optional side quest stuff. Tech system failure reported. Oh, Mario, we have to save Peach for tech, too. Oh, yeah. oh, that was a fast read. Love a fast read. Noom. Oh, sorry, I was going to talk about <laughs> some... I was going to tell a story. I'll probably tell this story again on Wednesday when I'm going to do uh, probably Smash and Hollow Knight. Um, but... <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I had another of my, of my funny brain memories unlocked, uh, when I was, like, just minding my own business at work, and I remember that, like, I was, like, kind of just a, a, a not a, I wouldn't say prolific, I'd say prolific is too strong a word, but I was, like, a, a, a regular, like, writer writing stories and stuff. A lot of them weren't very good, to put them bluntly. And one of them that I remembered specifically, and it's because that, like, I think it was, like, 14 or so, and I was, like, using 
Microsoft Word and stuff to like draw. Peach. Goodbye. And um it, it was just like weird, goofy things you just kind of do when you're when you're young and, and have really no artistic talent or flair and are just kind of just trying to test stuff out to see what really sticks on this big giant wall that is life. Did you hear something just then? Um, trust me, I'm going somewhere with this. Well, if it isn't Mario. Over here, son. You brought the crystal star back to the moon with you, didn't you? What? Talking to my goody. The X-Not Fortress on the moon? Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there, too, I assume. Well, yes, but the X-Not boss took her and took off through the Thousand Year Door. Aha! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the Thousand Year Door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door. With Princess Peach. What? Are you serious? Didn't the legend say that all seven crystal stars we need to open the door? Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the thousand-year door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. Sorry, I will dawdle all I damn well please. Uh, it's shine sprite hunting time. I think it's up here they mean. Back here anyway. Um, is it nothing? Yeah, it's 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 a big load of nothing. N u t t i n nothing. At least the box where it is. Uh, it's a pipe by the up. Oh. Uh, where's the pipe? Right up and down platform. Also, I I know this. The, the one thing, the other reason I'm dawdling, so I know this is bait. This is, this is definitely bait. I haven't gotten this far, and I know that like this is just dupless in disguise, just being a fuck. Uh. Just be on the up and down platform. Um, where's the pipe? Just beyond. though I can make it I can make it if I just if I just game real good please use my big gamer brain <laughs> so this is a pipe here but I'm not sure they're seeing a pipe pipe just beyond the up and down platform See you up there. It's just easy to tell where I can jump up to. Oh, I think I see it now. There we go. They meant they meant like a like a like a pipe pipe and not like a Mario pipe. I see. Go. 
want to upgrade the last couple of my uh, some of my party members, so I'm gonna do that before I do anything, and then we'll probably like start some of the end game stuff. We're not gonna finish the game tonight. Mostly, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> still kind of groggy. I know it's my own damn fault because I, I just didn't sleep, but I'm just tired. But, but I very much enjoy my nap time. Oh, hey, Shadi, what's up? <laughs> Alright, uh, so there's one over in this area. the one that's like a bit easier to get first oh i see it i, I see what i have to do which side is it on i guess it's on the second floor of the front house Oh, I guess it's this house. Oh, I see you. Breaking and entering! Mario style. Also needs to be powered up. So I think it's like two party members. Yeah, it's three actually. So I need another not. I need another like like six after this. Why could I have just done that? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna find another six shine sprites. to big brain <laughs> so standing on their bed wearing shoes is good is it good posture i mean it's good posture but it's bad for the bed and the sheets it messes them up you know okay so that's three we have another six we're we gonna find another six shine sprites Bombast. Are there even enough shine spots to upgrade everyone? I think there should be, right? Hmm. Just buy them with blue coins. <laughs> Get the fuck. <laughs> Get the fuck. <laughs> That's pretty good. That one, I got those. Those I got, I think. Oh, there's a hidden block behind that one. Okay. Uh, I got that one though. Got those. Got those. Forty-two.
All right, where's uh? Let me actually just do this. Streamer lovely, where is she? Oh, she's in uh, Rogue Ports Underground. Okay. Let's just talk to her. See if I'm missing anything anywhere else. Uh. Uh, I mentioned that I was a bit of a writer earlier. Uh, one thing I remember, like, kind of most vividly is my, uh, is an old piece of, like, old, old, old ass, like, self insert fiction that I wrote. It wasn't good. But I just, I remember it now for some reason, you know? You know, something you just, like, some things you, you did just kind of just vacate your mind and they just kind of just pop out pop back in, in the most bizarre of circumstances like without any real rhyme or reason it's like that and <laughs> what i remember most about it is that like i said i used microsoft word to just like draw up like a like a head and stuff like that this was like it, it was like years before the, the web comic that shall not be named or if i was even really like before even watched it honestly or like reddit i mean it's only like 30 coins damn uh is that enough to even get this or what i'm not even sure this is right here i just ran past it so i'm i'm a, I'm a go getter Aha! Welcome, Mario. I am her lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with seeing my amazing abilities, that which you seek, seeing my amazing abilities, that which you seek, is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha! So, shall I see something for you? Uh, shining sparks. Shining sparks? I understand. Now, show me what you seek. Hocus pocus, focus. Cabra Dabra Cabra Dabra Hullabaloo Paka Po Paka Paka Puka Pika Boo Ah Ah Star Show me what I seek She got she got absorbed by a tarot card Never to be seen again I see a shine sprite in the parrot's grotto, where there are many waves and spike, many spikes. It is on the left there. You find the hidden block next to it first to get it. Okay, so there are a bunch I just missed. All right. Okay. Okum dokum. I'm gonna go back and do that. Excuse me. Who has time for the plot, you know? Who has time? Uh, Y'all ever write me like self-insert fanfiction and then like... It, it, it's so weird like writing and thinking about fiction that you wrote of yourself like back like before things happen. I don't know if it's like a uniquely like trans experience, but it's so fucking bizarre. You know? Like to go back and look at things that you wrote or like remember things that you wrote when you thought you were a certain way and now things are like so vastly different that you may as well just be an entirely separate person from that idea of who you thought you were who you thought you'd become like it, it's so weird like it honestly it feels like the person that I thought I was and the person that like I guess I was molded into and me are like so vastly different that we may as well just have like entirely different like DNA down to like the genetic code and everything, you know? I try not to think about it. That's also very fair. Also, hi, what's up? It's just something that's just on my mind because I thought about it when I was at work. So I, because I'm, I'm, I'm typically bored at work and, and this time I just, my, uh, my, my, my memory just popped open, like I'm, like, like, just, I don't know, I don't know a good analogy. Let's just go through this way, I don't have to walk through all that guff. I have to walk through all that guff. Never mind! Uh, you 
Oops. I I just I, I just think about a lot of stuff that I guess is just kind of overwhelming sometimes. And it's and I don't know, it's just, it's hard for me not to. I don't like like super being open about a lot of weird, bizarre stuff like this. It's just it just happened to be like it like just then and I just kind of it's just kind of funny to me, you know? Oh, it's a pipe that be bad here. Oh. I didn't have to take the boat. I could have just gone through the... Oh, God. Well, this is gives me a faster way back to Rogueport. <laughs> Big galaxy brain. Idiot. I did write a lot of like other fan fiction and stuff too, but I feel like a lot of my like earlier works that were like on my own were not very good, and I think that the stuff that I wrote that was based on original properties was even worse. Uh, so I did, I, I did almost write like a kind of Smash Brothers esque fan fiction. It never really got off the ground though. As most things tend to do when you're like 12, you know? Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other things to talk about. Um. I, I, I talked about this a little bit at length, and I, um, I, 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 I was watching Kamen Rider Amazon in between waiting for the next episode of uh, Kamen Rider Zero One, which I'm having a lot of fun with, actually. Um, and <laughs> I feel that, like, Amazon's has a lot of interesting things going with it, like the whole what, man what measure is non-human and stuff like that that they really toy around with. Problem is, is that like they're they're they 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 tout themselves as being like dark and edgy and fanged and all this other stuff, but like a lot of the more darker aspects and a lot of the violence just feels like window dressing. There's no real substance to it other than the fact that it's just a lot more violent and you get away with a lot of like stuff like that because you know you have the scene where. You have, you have one of those like classic scenes where you're like, oh no, this character is is being cut up and served like, you know, so then greeted people style and it's like I don't know I'm, I'm kind of just sick of scenes like that because they, they all feel the same after a while and it's and, and, and they're all just saying the same thing it's like, wow, wouldn't it be fucked up if humans were eaten fucked up if true and it's like, I don't know I feel like there needs to be more substance to that, and the fact that, like, there's a scene where there's, like, a mass murderer, like a serial killer, and they just let him get away because we don't kill human beings is so lame. It's so lame. Like, it just, it just serves no purpose than to have, like, the sole lady character of, like, the entire cast of, like, the main series... Um, I might come out a podcast will be soon, maybe. I, I might just do a solar, a solar podcast, because trying to set up, like, a, a group one might be a pain in the ass. Um, but, uh, yeah, I might do that, and just, like, give my, my thoughts on the series as a whole. But, um, going back to my original topic is that, um... Kamen is no real slots when it comes to a lot of, like, violence. Because some of the earlier Kamen Riders are actually really violent. Like, murders shown on screen violent. Characters being stabbed through the abdomen violent. And sword, seeing people get their limbs ripped off, or seeing a character get bisected, 
like uh horizontally is messed up but like it, it, like i said it just feels like window dressing there's not a lot of real substance outside of this thing this particular subject matter is exceedingly fucked up so we will make it as fucked up as possible to compensate and i do like some of the characters and, and i do feel bad about some of the things that happened but it just feels like there there's a lot there, there i feel like i had a lot more fun with it than like the other edgy common writer which was common writer guy which is about like um like uh, a lot of Norse mythology intermixed with the uh, the Sengoku period and stuff like that, and that had a lot of shock value stuff to it too. But it was a lot more kid friendly, a lot less of people getting horizontally cut in half and stuff like that. But I don't know. It, 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 mm. It's hard for me to get my thoughts in order about it, like right now. But because I, I sat through the entire series. And I watched every episode, and, like, I can understand some of the motivations behind some of the characters, but even then, they just feel so nebulous and nothing. Yeah, like, it is pretty cartoony, but it, 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 there's also, like, the gore effect that goes along with it, you know? It, it's, it's, it's not just the, the, the nuance of a character getting cut in half. It's it's the it's the gore that goes along with it, and I don't know if it's because I've been like spoiled. I've been watching a lot of like uh, I've seen a lot of like American horror, which goes like above and beyond when it comes to that kind of stuff. But it just it felt like as much as it was trying to tell its story using like violence as a a a vehicle, it just felt lacking somehow. I'm not sure exactly how to really describe my opinion on the matter, but. I, I do enjoy like the uh, the whole what measure of a, is is a non-human and trying to go through like all this stuff of like eating people and stuff like that and I don't know I, I feel like there could be a lot more substance in that and there could have been a lot other alternatives to like having Amazons who are who are like the main enemies of like the story. And how they eat people and have like ways of trying to circumvent that but no one really tries to do that is the thing it's always these characters are evil because they eat people and have to go down because they eat people and never the thought goes in of being like hey what if we made something similar akin to that so that people didn't have to get eaten you know no one ever really puts that forward and that's kind of where i feel that a lot of the narrative kind of just falls apart i don't know I feel there's a lot of ways to solve a, situ a, a conundrum of these organisms need to eat this particular thing to survive you know like why can't there be a solution where people can eat something similar to a human in all aspects except that you know like like the like the impossible burger or something like i'm not sure nobody ever really goes to that degree because it's always it, it always results in character who is like who who by all accounts should be eating people doesn't eat people eats someone and just gets fucked up by it like why does that always have to be the case you know? Oh no, I'm 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 talking about like Amazon specifically. Um Common Rider by and large is like I said, it is is no real like um what's the word I'm looking for? No real stranger to violence. There's all kinds of different levels of violence where people get like horizontally bisected and like not or like I, I, I get exploded and a lot of characters just die for the sake of dying and shock value and stuff like that and characters get murdered in kind of ways that like if you really think about it are horribly graphic but like nothing to the degree of amazons at least in like the modern era at least the ones that's like put forward by like 
the, the more the ones that are like on TV because Amazon's was a, is a net series. It was it was it was released on Amazon, Amazon Prime. So henceforth the name, and um, it's actually available to watch on American Amazon Prime too. You know, so you can actually watch it yourself if you're, if you're interested. Um, it's not a bad series. I just feel like there's, there's a lot of things that a lot of characters could have done to solve the plot rather than having it revolve around humans and Amazons hate each other because Amazons eat people and why not just try to find better ways of circumventing that but then also there's a, there's a major character who's like all the Amazons have to die because I want to protect all humans even serial killers and it's like your convictions are so skewed and stupid because of how like guilty you feel about something that you didn't even really do in the first place you know? It, it's just a huge mess. And it's not... I wouldn't say that it's bad. It's just... I don't know what I feel about it. I've only really watched season one. And it ends on a pretty decent note. Where a lot of the people who, didn't, who don't want to, like, prey on Amazons... Just, uh, or not, a lot of the Amazons who want to prey on people just kind of go off and um, do their own thing. They kind of just live in harmony. And then, like... Season 2 is like a five year time gap. I, I've only watched episode 1 of season 2. and I don't know. I, I'm just sick of like dark, greedy, edgy media for the sake of being dark, greedy, and edgy. Like, subversions should, shouldn't really exist for subversions sake. Is my big thing. Because I feel that like... Oh god. I think if you're tr gonna try and tell a story, the story you should tell should not be predicated on the sense of like, oh yeah, we're not like these other people. We say the fuck words. We kill people. We show blood, guts, and gore. Because like, what are you trying to sell me outside of that, you know? What substance does your show have outside of just being that, you know? And I know, like, in, in terms of Amazons, the question is, what measure is a non-human? And, like, what measure is a human? If it, if it looks like it, walks like it, talks like it, and the only difference is that it can become a monster and also sometimes can eat a person, you know? Like, it feels like there's a lot of other ways to better handle a narrative structure like that, and it never really hits that perfect like tier of both of trying to have its cake and eat it too you know because like I don't know I haven't seen like every single situation of these people look identical to humans and want to live normal lives but have this one tick that makes them dangerous quote unquote I, I, I still have yet to see Blade Runner. I still have yet to see a lot of these, like, big pieces of media that do that sort of thing. Um, and I feel there's a lot of ways to handle a story like that without going into, like, just these two, like, I guess, species of organism cannot perfectly coexist because of X, Y, and Z. Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't. <laughs> I was trying to get it and I just forgot how to do it. And I just kind of gave up. I, I might go back and get it later. It's not like that big of a deal. I I'm just kind of rambling on about like media in general. Um, but um, I do think a decent, um, like a, a one that I guess a bit more down to earth and tries to find like a better solution to the problem of can these two species of beings coexist in a decent way is um zero one actually because zero one is a lot like i robot and the big thing is that these robots um caused a big national incident because of something unexplained in the current plot um, the, the one with Will Smith. The one with Will Smith. 
Um, that's what I'm referring to specifically because I don't want to really see. I haven't read um, Drew Robo's do Android Dream of Electric Sheep. Um, and the thing about the uh, robots, the um, God, what are they called? Huma Gears is that um. After this natural incident, a lot of people just kind of don't trust them. I mean, it, 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 I, I guess one of the, the the main, the other main, like the, I guess the Duraragan doesn't really trust them, and that's because he was in a situation where they kind of just overran a city. I see a shine sprite in the sanctum of the town of extraordinary wealth in the room beyond the pipe. It is in a high place in the entrance. Okay, so we need to head back to Pasha Heights. Um. And the thing about, and the thing that makes it interesting is that um, in Zero One, uh, spoilers are going to watch the show, but, you know, spoilers, I guess, shouldn't really matter. I think if spoilers ruin a piece of media, then, like, it shouldn't, like, if, 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 if your media revolves around, like, a plot twist, it, it, it should have more substance than that. But, uh, this, but you know, I, I digress. Um... The thing about the Huma Gears is that um, as they become more advanced after that incident, they're starting to become self-aware. And a lot of the story predicates on whether or not the self-awareness that the robots exhibit, the Huma Gears exhibit, is dangerous. And stuff like that, you know? And I find that interesting. A lot more interesting than like the, the stupid like robot racism um, predicated in, like, stuff like Overwatch and stuff like that, you know? Because Overwatch's, like, dumb robot racism story is weak. It's so lame. Like, why have a story about, like, I, 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 why have such, like, I hate the idea of fantastical racism. You know, it, it's 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 such a, a boring plot device, and I know why it exists, and the fact that it and and knowing why it exists doesn't make its existence any less just obnoxious. And I I, I wish that it didn't have to exist. We would get wow, racism bad actually. You know, because it's it's so stupid. It's so stupid that something like that even has to exist in the first place. But here we are, I suppose, you know? Fight these ghosts? Okay, give me a minute. Let me just get this, 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 this Blanc. Bonk the Blanc. Put that on a shirt. I really don't want to have merchandise of myself. I really don't. You know? I, I've talked about this before, but I don't know. I, I feel weird if I had any kind of merchandise made of me, you know? Like, I don't think of myself as, like, a kind of prolific comic creator. I think of myself, at best, at being, like, partway decent. Then don't? Yeah, I, I, I know I won't. I'm just, I'm just kind of just yammering on more and more. I'm trying to have things to... to, to I'm trying to have a discussion here. I'm trying to, trying to speak here. Hey, I'm speaking here. Bada bing, bada boom, gabagool. Eh. Uh... <laughs> Um, these ghosts are kind of a waste of time. They only give one star point. Um, I don't know. I, I want to get better, but I'm not sure I'm at the point where like people, I want people to buy my stuff, and I wouldn't want that kind of like those, that that level of focus on me. I like to be kind of like decently underground popular. I guess that I guess that's pretty much the best you can really shoot for, considering. But, you, you know what I mean, right? I'm not sure I'm really coming through what I'm trying to say. I, I hope I am. But, um... Also, uh, I didn't just get a USB game controller, just to, just to shift gears a little bit. I got a, um... This is a, uh, a, a, uh, the, the uh, Switch Wii U adapter plugged into my computer. So I might use this actually to play some Smash a little bit, because I, I played a little bit of, I, I, I pressed a little bit with Terry just to, just to, just to make sure everything was in uh, tip-top shape. And playing Terry on a uh, game control actually feels pretty good. I can do his motions pretty well. <sighs> um... 
it's alright, I might actually just... <laughs> This may just be, this may just turn in the Kamen Rider cast right now, because I, 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 I do have a lot I want to, I want to speak about, just on the nature of a lot of the, um, I think an internet, I think being an internet person like entertainers are running off the script, you get an ego to, an ego for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not super egotistical, I just want to, I want to, I want to, like, do this show and make sure I can make it kind of lucrative, but not, like, be a scumbag about it, you know? I, I want to be a decent human being, but also run a, a, a decent piece of entertainment for the interwebs.com. Uh, right. I only have two right now, and I still need another four for Bobbery and Mickey Mouse. Okay, so I'm gonna find another four. I guess I'll, I guess I'll talk to my lovely. Um, but yeah, I, I really do think I have a passion for this kind of thing. I, I, I just, I wish I had, like, a better computer to, like, render and do stuff like that. I might actually, um, I need a new desk. I might actually, like, um, work on shilling out to get a new computer so I can actually edit stuff a lot better without, bur without uh, potentially burning a hole through my floor. So I may work on doing that. So, uh, just to, just to, just to say, uh, again, uh, I, I, like I said, I would like to make this my main source of income because I'm, I, I hate being where I am right now as far as, like, working. I see a shine sprite on the cold village path. You go right from the pipe of Lisa Rogue Port. You find the tree on the left and in the front. Okay, I just wonder where that went. Okay. Um... And I, and I really do genuinely enjoy just doing this like every sing like uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I wish I could do it every day again. But that's a lot of that's really time consuming. I'd like to have some free time to like do other stuff, like I guess cook a meal or uh, just relax a little bit. It's, it is actually a lot trying to just sit. <laughs> It, it sounds, like, really lazy when I say it like that, but it is kind of a lot trying to, like, just talk. So I need to, I, I need to have a lot of things to really just speak on, you know? I feel super lazy saying that. I feel kind of gross. <laughs> um, oh, no, this is just basic posture hacking. I guess I do have to just go to a far outpost is the way I have to go. Um... I still feel guilty saying like a lot of I, 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 while factually true things. It, it, it does feel kind of weird just saying them like that. Smash you all! Gotcha, idiot. That's how you can hide. You can hide from Mario! From Mario! <laughs> um. So, yeah, aside from my, my huge, long, extended tangent, what's up with y'all chat? Do anything fun lately? I've uh, <laughs> other than like watching Amazon's. Uh, while I was waiting for my computer to update for the stream started, I was um, oh cool, do that homework, get that get that good grade. Um, before the stream started, while I was waiting for my computer to update, I was playing a lot of um, can magic groups have a tell them which one is real? Uh, I'm not sure. It may just be like the magic they use, but if I hit them all, like that solves the problem, don't it? Oh, they don't. That's gross. Um, where was I? Oh, right. I was playing a lot of Tetris 99 when the stream started. And, God. <laughs> playing Tetris 99 is a circle of hell in and of itself. It's so scary every time. 
especially because like usually you're gonna get blown up but how bad you get blown up is is a matter of chance and circumstance um i only i want i've been playing a lot a little bit lately just get good bubble we all know that i am i have very hard i have, I have a lot of difficulty with getting good um i was playing it a lot lately because um the um they have a pokemon styled one for the release of sword and shield on friday and i i, I had to get on that shit i had to get on that gravy train so I, I got enough points to get it it's fucking still super hard though wow Um, and it's hard to get good in a game like that when, like, everybody else was going get, like, a million times better, like, instantaneously. Or when getting, like, targeted by, like, so many different people at once. I think my favorite image, on, like, my favorite GIF on the internet or a video is the video of that person playing Country 99 and getting targeted by, like, everyone in the entire game at once. I think that's hilarious. Like, even still. But uh, I, I try to get good. I try to do as many line clears as I can. But even when I like try to do my best, I feel like everybody's still like at least five steps ahead. Does it feel that way for anyone else, or am I just, or am I just bad at video games? I'm willing to accept either outcome. Ah, oh, damn it! Let me hit the box. Uh, let's try out new move. Introducing the new move! Button mash! How does this game know I love to mash buttons? There we go. Is there any game where just the goodest actual advice is Tetris? Yeah, but like, I feel like it's easier to get good against a one-on-one -on -one opponent than an opponent who's like 199 other human piloted people, like <laughs> human piloted people. That's a fun sentence. A hundred people like at the same time, you know? There's strategy in Tetris 99, that strategy is just don't die, forehead. God, where's the box? Well, this is me, there we go. Jesus, damn. Uh... Like, I, I feel like it's, it's easier to just say, just get good for a game like Tetris Attack. I'm gonna keep calling it Tetris Attack. Oh, it does, yeah... Just the, yeah, I know you have to micro. I hate micromanaging. Just on like a a a a, a base level. I, I have a lot of unfun memories of micromanaging. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, having to deal with that stuff is just. I, I know to target like um. Like, people who are trying to target you and, like, KOs. But after that, it feels like it just gets to be, like, a luck game. Of just, of just do it fast. And cut, and, like, do, be as fast and as loose as possible. I think after I'm done, um, this. Uh, because I don't want to actually start the end game yet. I may just play a couple rounds of Tetris Attack. Not just, fuck. Uh, Tetris 99. I think Tetris Attack does make it hard. Uh, 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 uh. And this is what I have. Guess what I get for sticking to my damn guns? I see a shine sprite in the dense, eerie woods behind a tree beyond the big rock. Okay, I know where that one is. Alright, to Queepy Steampool, we go, go, baby. Oh, God. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, we'll just play some 1099 after this, because I really don't feel like doing the game right now. I'd rather save it for when I'm a bit more awake. And yes, maybe playing Touch 99 isn't a good game to play when you're sleep deprived, but fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Doing it live, baby! <laughs> Woo. Shit. <laughs> Is the best game to play when you're sleep deprived? I don't know. Because I think for some, in some games that I'm sleep deprived, I get like, moderately okay. So I've been playing a lot of Guilty Gear when I'm sleep deprived. Because going to work just like, takes any and all energy out of my body like a, like a vampire. So, like, I can actually manage to get like, pretty well at playing it. But even then, I still get wrecked within an inch of my goddamn life. Because the people I play against are pretty good. And because I don't use a lot of the skills at my disposal. But that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> um, I think the best game I'm playing to receive the prize may be like Animal Crossing. Oh god. Don't quote me on that though. What's your respawn rate? What's your favorite game to play when you're sleep deprived? Playing Animal Crossing when you're sleep deprived is curious like liminal, it's like it's liminal space shit. I think liminal space um video games when you're sleep deprived are game are like uh what's 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 a good example of that? Um God. I guess it's hard to really have a liminal space game that's like not like cult that's like uh What's a, what's a good example of what I'm trying to say? Uh, I guess it's really hard to have like a lot of liminal example games that, like, that are multiplayer. Because unless it's like a game like Animal Crossing, like, 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 like you can play like single player, uh, there aren't really any real liminal spaces anymore. Because like they're all they're all filled with people who are playing games at like any hour on the hour. But... One day I'll get through this. When the stores are open, the animals are asleep, the, mu the, the dead stark, and the music you've never heard before. Well, we should play games. We should play Animal Crossing a bit earlier in the day then, Bobo. That sounds like a personal problem to me. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem to me, personally. Huh. Also, I thought of a game I wanted to play, but it's already left my brain. I'll remember it later. I do want to start, like, a, a platformer again relatively soon, like a different one. Like, I'm, I'm going to still play Hollow Knight, for sure. Um, I, I still need a, a good way of playing that game, though, because I, I still have no clue of where I'm going or what I'm doing. All I know is that I must kill. Yeah, you really can. There's... T sleep deprivation has no curfew. I want, I actually, I, I want that, I, I want that, I want like a picture of like, what, like, a, like a, an approximation of me, with like bags under my eyes, holding a game controller, and it just says that. Sleep deprivation has no curfew. That'd be amazing. Listen. I don't want it on a t-shirt, I just want it on a piece of art. Also, Bobu, I, I've been I've had idiot fever since the day I was born. It's it's don't worry about it. You don't have idiot fever. It's just be like sometimes, you know. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. I've got idiot fever. Driving me out of my mind. 
I wouldn't mind playing a Pac-Man game, honestly. Like Pac-Man World or something. Pac-Man World is such an oddity, I love it. I love that weird-ass Mario 64 clone. It's not even really one, it's its, it's own weird beast. I don't really know what the best way to really describe it. I, I, it was like, the second game is like a weird Crash Bandicoot knockoff. It's all um, structured in hallways. Did you know that there's like a Game Boy Advance version of the first Pac-Man world? And it's like, really, really, really close to the PS1 version? It's such a bizarre oddity. Oh. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better, though. some point I do want to start an Ace Attorney game. I'm gonna get the collection though on like Switch probably, so that might not be for a while. But uh, I am gonna, that is on the agenda. There, there's, a, there's a quiet agenda of games I want to play and want to hit, and I'm gonna kind of spoil a couple, but you know, you'll you'll never know when I'm gonna play them, so it's, it's more or less me like alluding to rather than spoiling. For the big rock. Um, Oh, the last sheep glass. And the last Oh, okay, so it is past this big rock. Wrong way. <clears throat> I see you! Uh, Alright, fine. Rock bastards. Yeah. Why? Uh. Yeah, uh, sometimes things just happen randomly. At some point, I kind of want to experience Death Stranding, but unless I get like a bunch of money real fast, it's not gonna happen for a while. It, it, it does seem interesting in like a, a stupid, stupid kind of way. I'm sure everybody has their own game that's like that, you know. Again, they're like interested in, but it's like not exactly cost effective to get. I'm gonna play Metal Gear 4? No. I'm gonna kill this amazing Daisy. That's an amazing Daisy. Mystical Daisy is like the rarest thing ever. It's be 20 attack, it's 20 defense, it's 1. It's that I such high HP and runs really quickly, it's almost impossible to beat. Plus, it's lullaby is a massive attack card, so you're low on HP and need to scram. You gotta think this thing hard about whether to fight or bolt. Ow. Oh, this is gone. Seems like the sort of thing that Kojima's wanted to make a movie. Yeah! I get that about a lot of Kojima's work. Just just on a on a level of a an outward observer. He's like if uh you know, if David Cage had a soul. <laughs> and even then, he's, he's still, like, grossly misogynistic. 
But, you know. <laughs> it be like. Um. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum. Um. I also want to get like uh, I think it's I think it's Wild Guns on PS4. Wild Guns rearmed. That's gonna be a fun one to play through. So it's, it's one of those uh, arcade ass shooters. Oh god. Oh Christ. Um. <laughs> Should I get to one of David Cage's quote unquote epics someday? What do you say, chat? Is that a hard yes or a definite no? Because <laughs> I'm cool with it either way. I, 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 I'd love to just sit there and just stand there mouth agape. Playing a David Cage game. I don't want you to hurt yourself like that. That's a fair point. Oh, God. David Cage is such a hack. Oh, God. I, I wouldn't mind, like, just, 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 si I wouldn't play Detroit. Like, God, I would never play Detroit. With the point of streaming a KG, but not going in blind. Good point. Good point. Good point. I guess just to experience the stupid game. You know? It's like, why experience any game you've never been hands on with, if you've heard a lot about, and been like, I guess kind of spoiled on the plot, if not to experience it for yourself, you know? It's the experience rather than just the, uh,. The goal in the Pirate's Grotto at the top of the stairs beyond the s What the game? Oh, it's that one, I think. Okay. Going back to the Pirate Grotto, baby! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, after this, I'm gonna play some Tetris 99 we'll, and, we'll, and we'll round out the night. So let me just, so how many do I have? I think I should have like two more to get after this. No, one more to get after this one. Cause that's the last one I would think. Yeah, but I wouldn't be experiencing it through myself. I'd be living vicariously through you. Good point. Good point. God. Are Let's Players and streamers ruining the game industry? Game execs with millions of dollars in their pockets say yes. Is game sharing ruining the game industry? Ugh, God. I hate corporations so much, it's unreal. I hate it. I hate it so much. I, I think my, like all-time favorite bit of like any major corporation has to be the fact that like for them enough isn't just enough that there has to be more there has to always just be a non-stop infinite amount of money being filtered in drip fed otherwise like something is wrong and it's like come on come on people it's like I feel like the, the I feel like Jim's latest gym position today put it the best. Especially when it comes to like people like Blizzard. Like and 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 yeah, I feel like the the whole the whole the whole the whole on the whole the exist the reason that we know of Overwatch 2's existence is solely to get people who are upset about the whole Blitzchung and Hong Kong debacle to shut up for like five minutes. It's so disgusting. You know? It's the worst. 
Healing items on me. Let us see. No. Cool. Um. Yeah, I'm probably never gonna like even look in the direction we're watching to. Because it's the, it's, the, it's the exact same game. Like, I don't think what's the point of even making a two if you're gonna make the exact same game twice. I think this is the, gonna be the exact same way, and some of the added bonuses of one are gonna, from two are gonna be added into one. Oh, right, a, a new game mode, which totally satisfies a $60 price tag and shouldn't just be like DLC, you know? That's all I'm saying. That's all I mean. Like, ooh, a, 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 a boring PvE mode. I mean, it added a couple new things and changed up a lot of the way the balance of the game worked. And honestly, let's be real, after the Switch came out, no one was gonna go back and play like Splatoon 1 without like any real goddamn reason to. And I, I feel like Splatoon 2 adding everything that was drip fed through DLC, like free DLC in Splatoon 1, along with adding new stuff and like other expansions to that thing, make it a bit better than something like Overwatch 2, which is like one thing teased for like to get people off their backs for something that, that they have a active hand in, you know? And even if they weren't scum, I wouldn't even care, you know? Because Overwatch is bad. Like, its entire crux is just being the worst. It's not even really a game, it's just... It's, it's just like, um... It's it's just it's it's not even really a game. It's it's a game where you just play for loot boxes. There's no real fun to be had in it, and like by and large, I'm just sick of like big multiplayer games in general because it gives people like too much confidence. That's what we get, Dellers, and that's what we get, XQC. With people getting too big for their bridges, thinking they should say anything they damn well please on any piece of media. I mean, it's, it's not just them. Oh, yeah, but Octo Spanish was added, like, way after the fact, is what I'm, I guess is something that's also important. It's not like a, it's not like a, it's not like they're, like, um... Hold on, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm misrepresenting my argument. Let me give, give me a minute to think here. The West Series is a silly marketing term. Some of us said, "Where she made some money? How much? Have made one much too yet?" Ugh. God, I, I hate execs so much. It's unreal. God, I, I, I can't wait until, like, corporations just, like, die. Cause I'm so sick of corporations trying to be, like, your friend. I'm, I'm so sick of it. Yeah, I know it's just a joke. Yeah, yeah, I know it looks familiar, but that's also because I, I, uh, I, I, I forgot about a Shine Sprite here until Mer Lovely reminded me. I see someone actually fighting the cannons and not just... Thank God! Woo! Uh, Alright, let's just throw this bad boy. Nice job missing, idiot!
And even then, I still get hit by the friggin' bullet bill. I love how five people just filter in just, just when the battle ends. I find that hilarious. I know it's like a, like one of those gameplay things where like they're, they're, they're like it's not supposed to be that way, but it's, it's it's funny to think of it like that. Like they show up just to leave. Not quite at the edge. So I erroneously thought I had to do this. We can just hit a block. Alright, let's get out of here. Please leave me alone. Oh god. So hey, if you like my content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and donate. And also follow. I sure did, didn't I? Because uh, I forgot. I, I forget a lot. It, it's it's in my nature. Ah, fast boy. I like to imagine that Yoshi's are just like not shackled by the limits of gender. That feels way more dismissive than it means to be. And I think like there might actually have to be, and I'm not trying to say that like gender is a shackle, but in some situations it is, but it's also a fearing experience. I don't want to like just sound like I just think that gender is bad inherently. I mean, it's a 50-50 argument, you know? It's bad for others, but also freeing for some. It's it's a mixed bag. Yeah, and good for them. Good for them. That's what they deserve. Yeah. Man, I love this. <laughs> I love the super happy tree. You know, speaking of that game, I actually put the underground theme into my playlist for uh, stream music, so it might come up one of these days. <laughs> Yoshi's are hand prints, please! Please, no! But Yoshi knows what technology is! Yoshi drives a car! Yoshi drives a car! Yeah, but I thought the whole point of and prims was them being like, uh, unga bunga technology bad. Fire bad technology was technology is scary, and Thomas Edison was a witch. All and prims simultaneously. <laughs> I just think my favorite bit of like making fun of and prims has to be that um, it has to be that um one bit from um that one meme. Of like the and prim um that and prim ball without the glasses on being like who would win? An and prim or some kind of orange shape. <laughs> I love that. Oh I love that shit. Some kind of orange shape. <laughs> Why does that shit slay me so bad? Like I still think about it today and it's still just as funny as when I just saw it. Oh god. Amish people are just cultural and prims. I see a shine sprite. Inside the great tree, I see a lot of water. Oh god, alright. So I know where that one is. Last shine sprite of the game, let's go! I mean, Amish, you say you want to try to limit themselves, huh? <laughs> so what you're saying is they're just better and prims. Good to know, good to know, nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, if they weren't into their- Oh, God. If they weren't into their racists. You know what? <sighs> you say that, but I'm pretty sure there are a couple of Anprims who have similar, similar, uh, ideals to the Amish in that sense, you know? Of being insular racists. Because <laughs> let's not deny that a lot of lefties are in that similar insular racist boat. It's, it's, it's... Alright, now where is that vegetation? Amish people aren't anarchists. I'm, I'm sure there's a couple who are like, eh, this sucks, you know? Like society bad. I'm not sure if there's a, that's a large percentage. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. Or what I would be surprised if it was rather. I can speak good today. Ooh. <laughs> I just remember something else that happened. It happened today, in fact, and I just kind of like forgot about it as I was like running my fucking mouth. Uh, so I was at work yesterday, and somebody gave me expired snacks. I didn't realize until like today they're expired like a week at the time of them giving them to me. They gave them to me yesterday, and I find that like. Funny for some bizarre asinine reason. Here's dumbass piranha plant. What the fuck you can't step to this? I got jukes, baby. Can't step to us. He's got Jesus on my necklace. Alright, uh, is it further down? It might be further down. Is it this way? Uh, this is where I came from to get out of here faster. It's not this way. Uh, I didn't really talk about. I think I've, I think I've run my mouth a lot. Um, you guys gonna say? Huh? Mm. Yikes! It's Mario. Don't pick on me. That's what he looks like. He wants to say. Uh, I'm so busy. So busy. Why does it easy for us Jabbies? No sir. I'm sorry. We used. I'm sorry we're used by the, we're used by the ancestors, those ancestors, those outsiders. We've learned from our mistake. That's what he looks like he wants to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time. I, I'm, I'm delirious, so I may read some stuff incorrectly. But it's fine, it's hype, it's cool, don't worry about it. It's, it's all gravy. All good in the neighboring hood, as they say. Back here. Here's where the boots were. Where's the path? I guess, it's, I guess it's further down. This is where water was earlier. Yeah, like a floor or so down. Hmm. All right, yes. Uh. So which Mario characters are big communists? I have to know. Now that I think about it, that's something I can talk about. What's the communist ranking of every single Mario character? Let's go. This is, this is, this is, uh, <laughs> this, this is, I'm, I'm hitting that, I'm hitting that new, uh, that, that new, that new stuff before BDG, BDG, BDG gets a chance to. They're all monarchists. What about the ones who aren't? I mean, not everybody is involved with a particular type branch, branch of the monarchy in the Mario world. Some of them are just kind of there, you know? Fuck. <laughs> like, you think Yoshis are monarchists? No, they're Anthrims, I guess. So that, 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 that that's them sorted. Um... Even though they have a problem with the monarchy. 
fair and true. Fair and true. I'm sure a couple of them might, but like, I'm not sure, like, to what degree and how much. I mean, everybody's afraid of Bowser, so I guess the problem some have is with a monarchy. Not the monarchy, but a monarchy. Of the big, like, how many? Like, three or five, three or four? Well, I guess the three or four that matter, I guess. There's a handful of kingdoms. But how each one matters is, like, by and large, just like a, a crapshoot. Because Sarasra Land hasn't been mentioned in decades. Some I guess they're still doing okay, because Daisy's still here, doing her thing. And here's where the order was. Okay, it's just right down here. Okay, that's every single shine sprite in the game. Hooray, we can get out of here now. I just go further down. Yeah. Not that I really need to. Alright, so we'll go back, uh, upgrade everyone else, and then we'll uh, switch over to Tetris really fast. make another like Tetris game kind of similar to Puyo Puyo Tetris. Hope we get a sequel because that game was really good. Like the idea of Puyo Puyo and Tetris coming together like seems like it wouldn't work out super great but it does. It works out really good. Is it Sarasa Land? I thought it was Sahasra Land. Like Sahasrila from um... What's in that game? From uh, Link to the Past. Also, uh, oh, pull attention to that old, though. You know what else isn't that old? Overwatch. <laughs> my face. Who cares? Look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, see, I'm not trying to, like, say I know more. I'm just asking a question, you know? I just don't know. I know it's not a real sequel, but like, you know, yeah, you know. Uh. Can you believe people still play Overwatch? Surprisingly, I can actually, because a, a, a friend of mine streams Overwatch every so often. God help them. And they actually said they're actually going to play Overwatch 2 as well. Please pray. <laughs> Don't actually pray for them. I think that's fucked up. I, I just I just like planning on them. So I, I think it's funny. Actually, <laughs> I'm not going to direct you to clown on them. But I, I do think it's funny that the latest game that they streamed was League of Legends. <laughs> What is Overwatch 2? Nobody knows. Okay, all right, fine. I'll, I'll plug Zen. I'll plug Zen. Uh, Pyong Zen on on uh, Twitch.tv. They're really funny and really good at streaming. <laughs> I didn't know how far I could plug. Okay, I'll plug. I'll plug. I'll plug. I'll plug. I'll plug. I'll plug. It's fine. Don't, don't, please don't pull me. Please don't pull me. So Zibby. Nobody knows what Overwatch 2 is, and nobody knows when it's going to come out either. The same with Diablo 4. They're just rushed announcements made to get the heat off their backs because they're pieces of shit. That's really all it is. And here it is, the last upgrade of the game. You know what? That'd be cool. 
And please give that game, like, a racism filter. Because I'm sick of playing that game every time. And getting, like, a, a, a new form of, like... Well, it's not new. Just a, just a, just a, a fun racial slur string in my face every single time I decide to pick up the game for five minutes. You know? I kind of get sick of it. <laughs> anyway. Let's play some Dagon Tetris. Let's see, let's see how well I can do. I mean, you say that, Bobo, but didn't they, like, moderate, um, that one guy who got exposed for being, who faked his own death? Didn't they do that? But I, uh...